I'm gonna show you how to get free gold on computer parts like this and like this. Many of them have gold plating on them. This is real 24 karat gold and you can get it today with just some simple tools. So this board right here is from an iPod and these are RAM chips. So first what we need is a big beaker. So you see this board, it's got some gold plated pins there. It's got some gold traces here and it's got some gold connectors. Now this chip actually has gold in it, but we're not going to do that today. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put this whole thing in the beaker and put it in the acid the way it is. These ram sticks still have a little gold left on them. So I'm just going to put them in the beaker along with the crumbs. Right here I have what's called gold fingers. And this is gold plating. And we're just going to break them off so they look like this. And we're going to put that in the beaker. So all I'm going to do is take these pliers and I'm going to break this off just like that. And now there's the gold fingers. So I'm actually going to take off this piece of aluminum right here. And don't cut yourself because this stuff is sharp. But once you take this off, you can actually stick this whole thing in there. See this gold plating right here? And there's a little more here. All right, so now I got that off. Now, these chips are gonna be unaffected by the acid, but you see these have a little bit of gold in them too. So again, go straight in that. These cameras are from like uh, I, um, cell phones. They all have gold on them, and even this camera lens has gold. Again, straighten the acid. You don't want to put this piece of metal in the acid because it will mess with your solution. So you better take that off if you want to put this whole thing in there. But again, I'm just going to remove the gold fingers, and it will go in the acid like this. And I'm going to do this side, too. So, now I got my pile of parts. And now all of this will go straight in the acid. So the fiberglass and the plastic will be unaffected. And the gold will float. And that will allow me to get it out of the, the, the beak. You look closely, this connector has gold plating on it. So next, these hard drive connectors, I'm just gonna break them off like I did with the gold fingers. See? And this, the plastic again will be unaffected by the acid and we're just gonna stick it in there like that. I actually missed a few pins. Just gonna break those off and put those in the acid too. These chips have really good gold wires in them, but we're gonna process those in a different video. And actually, if you look right here, this has gold pins. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip that off too. There we go, just like that. Oh. And again, in the acid. So here's what the pins look like. They just came out of the connector. And I'm just going to break them off and put them into the acid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just grab them with this. And just, there we go, into the acid. Here's another look at one of the connectors from a hard drive. So you can see this has gold pins also. Now the good thing about putting this whole card in there is it's going to remove everything off this board, but I don't want to waste acid. So I'm not going to do that. I had some gold stuff from before. So let's put that in there. 
So this is a mixture of gold pins and just junk from depopulating boards. So guess what? I'm gonna take that out, but all of this didn't go right in the acid. Just like that. Everything's gonna go in the acid because the gold will float on top. This junk I don't want to put in the acid. It's all aluminum and it's just gonna eat the acid. And I got my IC chips and BGAs for like I've been saving this stuff up. So this is gold pins from um from connectors and I thought they were from CPUs also. Again, we're just going to put this in the acid, though. So these are gold ribbon cables, and this is from a cell phone board. And so I've been collecting this stuff, and I'm going to put that in the acid with the rest of this stuff, too. This is 24 karat gold plating from a cell phone board. And then you see the gold ribbons. So I got some SD cards here. There's no use for a 250 meg or a two gig card anymore. So they have actually pretty good gold plating on them. So we're gonna put those in the acid too. All right, so lastly, I've got some gold pins here. And this is just random gold pins. Here's a CPU slot. This is from connectors, and we're gonna put these in the acid too. All right, so I'm just gonna pour it in. And now let's see, how much do you think I'm gonna get? Here's a better look at my material. I'm just showing you all the different kinds of places to get gold. Free gold. All this stuff was in the garbage. That's why it's free gold. All right, next we're going to use just a little bit of this. <clears throat> we're gonna make sure to cover it up. And we're gonna put this thing outside. Look at it bubbling. It's taking care of that tin. Look at it work. All right, now we need some of this. This is gonna speed up the reaction and it's gonna make it dissolve the copper and not just the tip. Here's how it looks now. You see it reacting. And now I'm gonna add about 30% peroxide into it. Now it's gonna start reacting and it's gonna dissolve the copper. All right, it's the next day and this is my solution. You can tell that it's worked because the green is the copper that it dissolved. We can stir it and we'll be able to see the gold flakes. You can already see some of the gold on the top. You see that? So, but what I want to do is I want to heat this up and yeah, you can see some of the gold floating on the top. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up and it's going to dissolve the, the copper much faster. There's a flake of gold right there. More and there's more. You can see the gold on the bottom. All right, so we're just going to turn this on low, and we're going to boil this for a little while and get the copper dissolved. All right, so this has been boiling, and I think I got all of the base metal taken care of. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to dissolve the gold. A little bit of floating gold, but we're going to pour off this liquid and then I'm gonna replenish it with some new stuff. I would show you all the gold that's in here, but I don't want it to be in my liquid. This is my waste solution, and I'm gonna just let this filter this and put in my stock. A lot of this black stuff is actually silver, and so that's not gonna dissolve. We're just gonna have to filter that out. 